Hoopla. What is up? How you guys doing? Hope you had a good weekend. I've been chilling most of the weekend and uh, forgot to jump on for a little bit so we can talk about this story that I saw that crossed my feed the other day. Also, actually, let's uh, let's uh, update the standoff real quick too. this insane standoff that we watched the other day. And um, I think it was about 30 something hours. Can you believe that? How long that uh, standoff was? And it did come to a conclusion. When I when I heard the next day that this thing was still going, I was like, damn, maybe they should just blow this shit up. After so, so, something's got to happen. Something's got to. But I, I think the guy offed himself. New video just into our newsroom. You can see here the building where police say a person has been barricaded inside since yesterday near Galleria and Boulder Highway, currently being dismantled. Now that standoff between police and that person inside that Henderson community is continuing tonight. We thank you so much for joining us tonight at 11. I'm Sasha Loftus. This situation lasting for 33 straight hours, Ugh. forcing some in the area. Yo, I, I'm yeah. I'm glad too that I called it that night. I think it was Friday night, and I'm like, yo, all right, we got we got to get some sleep. The Las Vegas news guy was streaming it. The cops actually, at some point, walked up to him and threatened him. I'm like, yo, you gotta leave. We're gonna arrest you. It was dirty. Out of their homes. Eight News Now reporter Madison Kimbrough joins us live tonight with the latest, Madison. Yeah, Sasha, it's still unclear who this man is or why he has barricaded himself, but those in this neighborhood say it's unsettling times and all of them are on edge. We're uncomfortable. It's weird seeing this. We don't have this happen all the time. So. Austin Weibel in disbelief as he and his family live just feet away from the barricade situation happening in the Macaulay gated community of Henderson. He and others sharing how hard it's... By the way, yes, did you guys get notifications? I heard that maybe it's fixed. Did you guys get the notification for when I went live now? That's a good question. Been to get around their normally quiet neighborhood, let alone get a good night's sleep. Oh, they have the, get um, the gates closed off. It's hard to get back to our house. It almost feels like a, a war zone. You'll hear the loud boom, and then all of a sudden you'll hear like four gunshots, and you're thinking, well, is it now over? The barricade situation started early Friday afternoon with Henderson police along with Las Vegas Metro and SWAT on scene. Amazing. Love you guys. Thank you. The neighborhood at a standstill for over 30 hours. And neighbors feel there's no resolution in sight. We've been hearing flashbangs going off all. Bro, 30 something plus hours. I mean, I, I guess from the standpoint of like trying to preserve and help this guy out that was in there because he was threatening to off himself. But I, I can't imagine the amount of resources and people that were displaced temporarily. All day, all night, the, the police are on the intercom screaming, yelling. Henderson police confirming that an officer involved shooting occurred at the scene Saturday morning, but there were no injuries to the suspect or officers. From what I heard, he um, barricaded in there and uh, he just don't want to come out. We've heard he's got gas masks and bulletproof vests and who like knows. 20-some guns. Fortunately, though, for some neighbors, they were able to retrieve some of their belongings, many very emotional as they were able to see their pets for the very first time since the barricade started on Friday. Again, this barricade has been going on since 2 p.m. Friday. All lanes and sidewalks on East Galleria Drive are blocked off from Cadence Vista Drive to Water okay. Street. Reporting here live in Henderson. So, so it was wild. It was wild, right? And shout out to this guy, Las Vegas Live News. That was the only person out there streaming it. I appreciate everybody that went to go send, send them some love. I just I closed out the article. Per, amazing. <laughs> I appreciate everybody that went to go send out some love. I sent them a nice super chat too, just for you know being cool with everybody streaming. But that night they threatened him. Okay, turn it off. Okay. Watch I'll, this. I'll just, I'll just drive it on. How about you turn it off now? Oh. I'll close the. There, it's off. Take the whole camera out. Can I just take the whole car? You're not listening, no. man. Take the whole camera. You're about to go to jail. And I was just wondering, can they make him do that? 
like can can I thought like it's a public street, it's a public whatever. Where's all the um, the First Amendment, whatever amendment people, the uh, amendment, you know, those people that go around, can they do this? Maybe in a certain type of situation, they can. Well, I mean, it's I got to get to the back. Here, do you think? So yes, they made him leave. Now the update, before we get to the main story, uh, the update is that the guy's now deceased. A multi-day standoff in Las Vegas. And the suspect was ultimately found dead. And I'm assuming he offed himself because he had been threatened to off himself that night. No officers or the suspect. I don't know. I guess they did an update. He was found dead. I'm not sure why they're saying the suspect. Nor No officers or the suspect was heard, except he's dead. <laughs> okay. Here's the police update. Good afternoon. My name is Sergeant Daniel Madrano with the City of Henderson Police Department Public Information Office. We are still on scene and working an armed and barricaded wanted subject in the area of the 200 block of Callan Falls Avenue, which began yesterday at about 11.20 a.m. Multiple jurisdictions have been on scene to assist with the incident throughout the night, attempting negotiations for a peaceful resolution. At about 8.45 a.m. this morning, an officer-involved shooting occurred. However, at this time, there are no injuries to officers or the suspect, and negotiations are ongoing. All travel lanes and sidewalks on East Galleria Drive are closed from Water Street to Grand Cadence. As mentioned before, this is an active and dynamic scene with no further information to be provided at this time. We will ask the public to please avoid the area. Okay, and so it goes on to say again, on Sunday morning, the suspect was located deceased, and, and that's it. I, you know, I don't know much. I don't, I don't know the history. What's his deal? I feel like we have stories like this every day. Now, the crazy situation, the main story, okay, is this person, um, an ex, a former employee of Howard Stern, one of the, one of the OG radio people in that realm. It says glamorous. I don't know what's so glamorous. Ex Howard Stern show star Elisa Jordina. Oh, did I put her name wrong? I put Jordan, right? Oh no, Jordina, yeah. That's her pseudonym name. That's not her actual name. Issues groveling apology after horrific video of her attacking boyfriend in car on live stream. Now we're going to watch the video together. I haven't watched the whole thing. I skimmed it. And when in, when I skimmed it, I was like, Damn, this chick is crazy. But now she's she went on TMZ and she's saying that like, oh, well, I'm the victim. She says that she's actually the victim. So we're going to watch the video. We're going to watch her TMZ video. My friend texted me and saying she said that both of them should have got arrested. I don't know if I agree with that, but I'm going to watch the whole video and see. We'll come to a conclusion. A YouTuber and former Howard Stern show personality has issued an apology after her video of battering her boyfriend went viral and led to her arrest. Elissa Ann Schwartz, who goes by the pseudonym Elissa Jordana, she posted this shit on YouTube on Monday as she drove through Palm Beach County, Florida. It's always Florida, right? <laughs> it's always Florida. During the broadcast, she and a man described as her boyfriend who has not yet been named were wrapped in a violent altercation with Schwartz repeatedly punching him. And this shit was wild. The parts that I skimmed was wild on a live stream, beating this guy, bitch slapping him. It was crazy. And with Schwartz repeatedly punching him as she confronted him about his infidelity, the dramatic footage shows her smacking the man in the face and threatening him. He retaliates, grabbing her head and chasing after her on the road before returning to the car and turning off the live stream. Hours after the video was uploaded, Schwartz was arrested by the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office and charged with a felony. In a statement to the Daily Mail, she apologized. I just want to say I'm sorry for what I portrayed on my live streams. 
that everyone saw. And if that's what you're doing on live streams, I'm wondering what you're doing behind the scenes. You're willing to go all out on camera. What do you do behind when the, when the cameras are off? Okay. So we're going to check out this video. This is not what I want to give to the world. And it sucks that I got in such a sadness and anger. It was really negative represent or negative representation of who I am. I'm going to do everything I can to have better relationships with people that are good for me and people that are also that I'm also good for. She deemed the controversy and subsequent arrests the most challenging time of her life. If I can get through this time, I'll definitely be proud. The two hour plus live stream. Where's that? That shit still up? I want to see that shit. Ah, uh, she took it down. I we still got the shorter version, but she she took down the whole live stream. Oh, okay, all right, all right. Damn. <laughs> the two hour plus live stream has garnered more than a hundred and fifty thousand views on YouTube at the time of writing. The couple's dramatic fight stemmed from a confrontation over the man's alleged unfaithful behavior. Now, there's some people that think that if the guy's cheating, then maybe he had it coming. You know? Maybe maybe he had it coming. There's some women that think that. A anytime a guy gets attacked from a woman, they're kind of like, well, what did he do? So so maybe some, if, if it's true, I don't know if it's true, maybe some women feel that's a justified beat his ass. Early in the stream, Schwartz cried about the men sending about the man sending thousands of dollars to another woman. Damn. Violence unfolded after the woman identified as Sarah called in. She called in? Schwartz threatened to leak Sarah's nudes and phone number online, which the other woman begged her not to do. Her boyfriend attempted to weigh in, which promoted the streamer to punch him repeatedly in the arm and shoulder. Sarah, I'm sorry about this, he said, prompting Schwartz to strike him in the face. Okay, it just changes things a little bit. I don't, it's not, it's not a right to put your hand on somebody and attack them, but this changes the context a bit. Um, don't effing talk, she barked. The man lobbed insults at her while attempting to explain to viewers that she had discovered the text between him and Sarah in the middle of a couple's therapy session. Gangster, damn. As the conversation was as the conversation with Sarah dragged on, Schwartz proclaimed that her boyfriend had described his mistress as a dumb Mexican, oh God, who had a child at sixteen. She then grabs her boyfriend's ear, which triggered him to grab her by the hair and drag her head into the passenger seat. Pull over, you dumb C word, the man repeated, grabbing the steering wheel as Schwartz screamed, apologized, and wailed that he was killing her. And there's your mugshot. Well, what y'all think? What do people in the chat think? And a nice picture. Her posting. Oh my gosh. She was previously engaged to Andy Dick. As part of the internet stunts. Okay. She, she, she's a, an all-star. In the celebrity world, I guess the man instructed his alleged mistress to call nine one one before forcing Schwartz out of the car. What I want to know is like, did somebody screen record this? Can we? I want to watch the whole damn thing. Let me see something real quick. Well, we have a snippet, but Alyssa Jordan, hold on. Oh, wait. They got four minutes, seven minutes. Damn, they don't got the full stream. Full. I want to hear the call in. Got 12 minutes. It's about 12, the, the most people got is like 12 minutes. Damn. Oh, they got her arrest camera here, too. Right, let's get it. Let's get it. Okay. Some, some people snagged it, I think. Let's see. Uh, super bring her down. She's a uh, like, oh, it's just uh, no. okay. It's not it. All right, so we'll have to watch this snippet an and then we can watch the arrest video. Mel, you can find the whole 12. So there's 12 minutes that's out, okay. 
Okay, let's see. Hold on, we got a 12 minute segment. I did see I see a few 12 minute ones. Let me see, is this one right here? And he lied and okay. he's told oh shit okay okay we got the 12 minute version i think okay let's let's do that let's do that let's see if we can watch a 12 minute version hello yeah but i skimmed it it's not actually that he's just talking i got they say 12 minutes is the longest one and there's a 40 minute arrest cam one we're gonna watch that Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Let's get let's get it, guys. Let's see what's going on. And he lied, and he's told her, like he told her, I'm just like a streamer, and it was just an investment, and like the whole time he was talking to me, he was talking to her the whole time, the whole time, and I saw everything that he said to her. It's all the same shit he said to me, Ooh. and he's just a, he's just like a bad guy. He's not like the type of guy that's like a faithful guy, and but when he liked me the most. When, when he liked the, me the most, he was like cheating on me with her, with this like 20, 20 fucking twenty year old like, like whore, like whore that that sends videos and shit and and like you know I knew I knew he was that, but I, I didn't like I fucking knew he was that. I knew I I knew he was that. I knew he was that. Oh God. Um, yeah. She she goes she goes. You told me she was just some streamer. So he told this girl that he was seeing at the same time as me that I'm just some streamer. <laughs> Sorry. And like he was lying like constantly to me. And she says I, it really hurt Barum. It fucking sucked to see you hold her the way you held me. It sucked to hear her call uh, call you beautiful and babe. It sucked to see you cl clearly cared for her more than me. Man. Like th she was seeing them. He was seeing us at the same time. Like literally oh, wow. at the same time. I hear you paid her a thousand dollars to come over. Actually, two thousand no, dollars. No, no. I'm, I'm actually gonna call her right now. But I know what the situation. Hell is. nah. So, um. Oh, uh, he was paying this hoe. The other hoe. The, the side chick. Hope for me farm says this guy paid her two million bucks over a year in donations. Yeah, I'm gonna call her right now. But hello. Hi, is this Sarah? Hi, is this? Hi, Sarah. This is uh, Baram um, Alipur's friend, Bro. Lisa Jordana. Have you heard of me? I have not. You have not? Um, a streamer? A live streamer? Hello? Oh, she hung up. Oh, shit. Yeah, no, I, I don't really watch live streams. Okay. All right. I'm, I just wanted to call you to tell you that he's here uh, in Florida. I mean, where is she streaming though? Because I, I saw her YouTube page; it has two two thousand subs. Uh, maybe she's she might have an alternative platform somewhere else. Oh, there's her backup channel. All right, so what's her main channel? How many subs does she got? And uh, that she's gonna be back in California. Oh, that's not my. Her main son. page is fifteen thousand subs. Where where's her main YouTube page? Where's their like online presence? That this is so like. Korean available for you again because uh turns out the whole time uh, the whole time he was uh sending me two million dollars he was also um like sending you money on venmo i saw is that true is it for you to come over and have a burka on so the same thing i'm sorry so i I just want to tell you, Sarah, uh, you don't sound too open to this conversation, but the whole time that you were going over driving? to, uh, uh, you know, the Wilshire Corridor apartment, um, Barham sent me like $2 million and has been seeing me at the same time. I don't know if you care about that, but if you do, you might want to talk to him about that. Who's Barham? This guy's loaded. Two million? Yeah, so the same stuff he texted you, because we were just in couples therapy, and I noticed the same stuff he texted you, every single thing, like princess, burka, um, the other stuff. Uh, I could I could continue reading. Actually, I'll read it to you right now. Just the same stuff that he was texting me. He was texting How's you. How's she driving? Is it auto drive thing? Are you guys in a relationship? Um, no, I just broke up with him because I saw he was sending you a Venmo. Um, and saying the, just the same shit he was saying to me. He sent you two thousand dollars one day and, and, and have a burka oh, on. Sorry. So the same thing. Uh, you don't sound too open to this. You know the Wilshire corridor. Part My bad. I, I ever want back to it. 
Barham sent me like $2 million and has been seeing me at the same time. I don't know if you care about that, but if you do, you might want to talk to him about that. <laughs> yeah, Wilson said, can I get his number? <laughs> yeah, so the same stuff he texted you, because we were just in couples therapy, and I noticed the same stuff he texted you, every single thing, like princess, burka, um, the other stuff. Uh, I could I could continue reading. Actually, I'll read it really? to you right now. Dad is a billionaire? Stuff that he was texting me, he was texting you. I was just... Are you, are you guys in a relationship? Um, no, I just broke up with him, because I saw he was sending you a Venmo, um... And saying just the same shit he was saying to me. He sent you two thousand dollars one day. Um, let's see, with the burka you need to wear, it's warm and cozy. Function. I have his phone in his wallet right now. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see. I was thinking about her butts and the dress. Same shit he says to me every day. Uh, I guess the doorman didn't like your outfit. You're wearing like a, some kind of outfit. Uh, Valentine's Day. Um, let's see. Yeah. Let's see. How'd you get the phone? How, how the fuck did I get so lucky to see your ass in the first place? Like that kind of shit. He says the same stuff to me at the same time. So I just think you should know. I'm obviously dumping him. Uh, I'm kicking him out of Florida. I have his wallet and his phone, which I'm going to throw in the ocean right now. <laughs> so, so good luck. Burka is like a really exp- I, I've heard of this stuff. I, I don't know what it is. It's some. It's a brand. It's like really. Let me see Burka. I don't know. I got some Muslim garment when I typed in burqa. Burqa. Hey, what the hell is burqa? I thought I knew what a burqa was. Maybe she means Birkin. Birkin bag. I typed in burqa and I got like the Muslim garb. You know, uh, I don't. What? <laughs> Maybe she means Birkin. I don't know. I don't know. We get in trouble or anything for throwing a spot. Karma will get people to do bad things to others. And him and I have been friends for like over a decade. I heard he was he was dating a he's, he was hooking up with a Mexican. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How come uh, I heard you say it like it was derogatory? What's wrong with being Mexican? No, oh, I like Mexican. Oh. If you didn't join the court Kermit I like that too. Discord server, if you didn't join it, you're gonna be like kicking yourself. Not that much money left. Do I spend this money? Sparrows for everyone? Like, Whose I... money is that? That's homeboy's money? I get sparrows for this whole place. Like, should I get sparrows for this whole place? Alright, I, I can tell she's wild and crazy. Sure. This lady on the side here, this lady, she's like, what the, what the hell? This lady over here looking at her like... <laughs> Sipping our soda. Oh, him in the mall. oh, there he is. Oh my god, he's near the police. Oh, oh, Yeah. Sometimes we laugh, sometimes we laugh. Yes, yeah, yeah, I turned it off. What's up? Let's see. It's, it's on the ground. So, you have his phone and his keys? Yeah, I have his phone. Ooh. I think he wants it. No. Alright, fine, I'll give it to him. Okay. Anybody watching the Drake beef? The Drake beef? The Drake going against all these rappers and then Rick Ross responding. It's been such an interesting weekend. Oh gosh. And then well the Israel stuff too is pretty crazy. I, I, I see him over there. Yeah, he's waiting for you. I don't need anything from you. What are you looking for? No, no. This, this is uh, my stupid boyfriend. He's retarded. I'm sorry about that. That he bothered you. I have his phone and his because we were in couples therapy. I'm oh, sorry. Let me turn it down. I'm sorry. So, so we were in couples therapy and I found out he's been cheating on me for two years. So that's what this for is about. Years? There's nothing violent happening. I'm no, gonna, wait, he just wants his phone. So he's getting his phone. phone. Alright, he's getting. His phone. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Alright, thank you. I think there's a lot of chicks that would find it viol- like acceptable to hit I, I, their oh. man if he was cheating. I feel like there's a lot of women out there like that. What? You said you were gonna come, but you didn't. Come where? Come on. The thing said you were gonna come back to the... For I what? To give me my stuff. Oh, there it is. There's your stuff. Thank you. A nice one. Hey, what do you do? I don't care what you do. I do not care what you do. FYI. February. I called Sarah, you fucking bitch. I'm gonna fucking kill you. No, no, no. Oh, okay. What? Yo, this chick is nuts. Bat shit nuts. And the way he's reacting is because she's done this shit before because I've been there. 
batshit nuts. He's reacting because he's used to this type of shit. This chick does that shit. Average looking guy. So I might probably after just his money. Okay, that, that's all she probably cares about is the money. Maybe I don't know. But yeah, a chick reacting like, hey, whoa, she's live streaming. So imagine how this chick is. Uh, that's what imagine off air, bro. <laughs> imagine she's not streaming how she is. FYI, February. I called Sarah, you fucking bitch. I'm fucking killing no, no, no. you. Okay. Sorry, sorry, February sorry. Was... So, is she saying sorry for the cops? What's the cop doing? We were with Sparta. No, you we were, you, with... we were cut, I, I got. I'm gonna text her in my Discord. Okay. I'm gonna text her. All the same shit you say to me, you say to her. You, you both are gonna turn this into something. Okay, okay. Uh, I, there you go, baby. It's the cop. I'm just talking to him. Do you wanna go to jail? Not really. Yeah, lock your ass up. That's what okay. they need. It's okay. It's okay. No, it's not okay. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, the times have changed. Women are getting locked up now for this type of shit. You should see what you're lucky that your hand didn't hit him because regardless of what he said, okay, let's go. Okay, right. Salute to that cop. Sorry. Yeah, Love you. Okay, you're not on it. You're not on it. Get off this shit, cloud chaser. Listen. I'm, regardless of what had just happened here, if you had hit him right in my presence, thank you. Regardless of you, I, I, I love that. Yo, salute to this cop. I don't know who she is, but right, salute to me. No matter what he said, you would be going to jail. Do you understand? Yeah. Right, that's, that's, fine. Yeah. that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. At least to calm down. I was asking, can I go grab no, my not, stuff? You can grab your stuff here. Exactly. You can grab his stuff and he can go home. That's what he can do. Okay. I have his stuff. <laughs> I can take him to his stuff and then he can go. Okay, take his stuff and take your anger down a notch because you. Yeah, she you knows. I can tell. She had hit crazy. him in my presence. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to talk about the bad uh, well, topic. Well, I, think I should talk out. about it. No, I, yeah. I, I, I'm yeah. going to stop talking about it. Okay, good. Yeah. Because that's ridiculous. Okay. And I hope your channel caught that that bad. Yes. Okay. Yo. Reception of Based ass cop. I love that. You. That's not very nice. Okay. No, it's not okay. Are you, you ever been cheated on for two years with you know a twenty-year-old Mexican? I'm not, I'm I doubt not it. getting into yeah. my business. Okay, I'm right, well, just telling you that's one, my business. I, I really don't want to talk one. to you anymore. Do you understand? It's nice talking to you. Have a nice day. Damn. I called her. I, mean, I spoke to her. She's very boring, of course. No, I saw all your texts. I saw all your texts. What a mess. What do I get into with this shit? No, I don't know why this guy's back in the car with this chick after all this shit. But th there is some woman out there, or people, maybe even guys, that feel like, hey, if they cheated on me, yeah, I can put my hands on that person, I can attack him, I do whatever I want. So now this is the car ride. How they're back together, I don't know. The short screaming. <laughs> oh, let me get out the way. Just put myself out of the. I don't know. Let me move myself. Oh, how's he back in the car? Passenger princess. What's going on here? And that, that's his phone. She still got too. Barom Alipore is sending of women. You blow with them pictures, and I'm gonna text you when you text me as well. What the hell is she doing? So I'm just, I'm just gonna send you like six months of texts of uh, your nudes and you know different sentences that he. So I'm sorry uh, about this. Don't. Oh, okay, but. I, I definitely don't agree with the physicality, but he's also not denying it. You shouldn't put your hands on somebody. You shouldn't attack them. You really shouldn't. But again, I know there's this woman out there like, yeah, fuck it. Yeah, I beat his ass, too. Don't talk. Don't fucking talk. Shut up, bitch. Uh, yes, sir. We're really sorry about this. I'm sending him your way today. Look, look at him. Uh, so don't worry. Um, but yeah, so yeah, he's coming. Don't worry. He's coming home. She just like almost broke my nose. She's gonna get her. No, no, you're fine. You're fine. Fuck you, cunt. Um. Next time you fucking touch me, I'll fucking dick you. You understand? What happened? To me, and he lied, and he's told her. What? What? Oh, it started over. Yes. Yeah. Touch me, and I fucking dick your. Oh, so you guys are like, wow. Right. Interesting. Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, touch me and I fuck. What do you where, okay, where, he said you're a d Where are we at? Oh, said you oh, I'm cunt. On hey, there. Um, no, Sarah, hang up. These idiots. She posted your fucking number in her cancer Discord. You understand? Fuck you, cunt. 
She just like all those broke my nose. Okay, there we go. There no, no, you're fine. You're fine. Fuck you, cunt. Um, Next time you fucking touch me, I'll fuck. So she, they're in the car together. This chick Sarah that he's allegedly been treating with is on the phone too. And she's streaming. And it goes black for some reason, but I, I'll let it, I'll let it play out. I don't know. Understand, cunt? Hey, oh, Sarah, hang up. These idiots. She posted your fucking number in her cancer Discord. Ooh. I was just being polite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no, so, so ba Baram, Baram. How do you pronounce it? Do you know? I don't know. Shut the fuck up, cunt. Um, hey, so, cunt. So I'm gonna text you your nudes that he sent me and right. what he wrote about you. He said you're a dumb Mexican that uh, he doesn't yeah, even ooh. like. Oh, just sure, just sure. how he said that I'm a streamer that he doesn't like. So you guys are like, wow. Right. Interesting. Sarah, Sarah, or? Sarah. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, touch me and I fucking deck your dumbass bitch. I'll fucking deck you. Alisa. Yes. Um, as a woman. Then dumb cunt, cunt Sarah. Then dumb cunt. Retard. In the middle of the street session. Can you please leave me under from the chat? Yeah, yeah. And look at how she's looking at the camera. Like, like she like it's like whatever to her. Dumb retard. In the middle of the street session. Can you please leave me under from the chat? Yeah, yeah. And look at how she's looking at the camera. Like, like she like it's like whatever to her. She, she, no, she's a, she's a fucking insane person. She's wow. A, she's a fucking I would stop talking about me. Oh, dumb yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, in yeah, the I'm middle 15. of the street okay, dancing. Yeah. yeah, Sarah, I heard you had a kid when you were 16. That's what he told me about you. Yeah, she had and he a said kid. you're a dumb Mexican. I said she's and a dumb Mexican. And he said you, you keep showing up. And he says you won't stop uh, texting him. But I saw what? the text. It's the same shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What's up? She's half your age. She's half your age. Delete the number, please. Oh, oh, my God. It's just content warning is gonna grab her and you know just just you know for your discretion advice all that stuff. No. Pull over dumb cunt. Oh. Pull over dumb. No, 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 please don't, don't. Right, I'll stop. I'll stop. Okay, I'll stop. Pull over. Okay, I'll pull over dumb okay, cunt. Please, no, I'm sorry. No, call nine one one, Sarah. Call nine one one. No, no, no. This is no. crazy. Yeah, I guess no, in the middle please, of the road. Please, call nine one one. I'm sorry. No, no, I'm so sorry. Please let me go. Baby, please let me go. No, please, I'm so sorry. I'm to drag out the car. Get the fuck okay, out of here. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. He's killing me. He's killing me. Oh my no. god. Okay, I'm gonna fuck. go. Wait, push the car's moving? Or, or he pushes her out. And then he gets out of the car, chases after her. What the heck? Gets back in. Cuts off the stream. Wow. So, this woman was actually arrested. I don't believe the guy was arrested. She shouldn't have put his hands on him. And the guy, I can understand if the guy's like defending himself, but he, he kind of went overboard. <clears throat> Tox, toxic, toxic as fuck type of relationship. Um, this was her response now. Let's take a look at her response. I see. Seeing a therapist anyway, and I decided to do a couple's session. And she was open to it. So I brought him in there and he was bragging the whole time. <laughs> like he was talking about like how much money he made and uh, like his accolades. Like that is not what I, why I brought him there. I was hoping that we could talk about like our relationship and our plan. And I totally don't believe this is the first time they've gotten physical at all. Because we, we, ha we filled out a marriage license and I and we we planned the day to do it uh, via Zoom, and and I canceled that day. I can, we canceled it like three times because I didn't feel ready and I was really scared. And somehow during the um, the session, I had his phone and I was like looking for something else, and in his phone was like just a lot of bad stuff, like text to other women, um, Venmo, um, 
uh, deposits to women. And I knew he was doing that before, but I definitely didn't think he was doing that during our relationship because he was so busy calling me. I, I thought, how does this guy have time to call me all day and all night and watch my stream for six to eight hours and then have people on the side? I just didn't think that was possible. In, in that scenario, like turning on the live stream is to me, so to many people, it's the worst thing on earth to do, right? Like A lot of people would say that now because of what happened. But imagine I did not turn it on. Imagine I did not turn on that live stream and the same thing happened. I could be dead right now. I it could be. <clears throat> but I also wonder about you, your actions. You went, you went fucking psycho as shit in front of a cop. I totally would not be surprised. I don't, I don't think that's your first time doing that shit. I really don't. I was thrown in the road on, on, um, I was thrown like out of my car onto the road and str And that's the thing too, like we're, you're in a, an abusive relationship and you're the victim. Sometimes you, you start doing shit that you would never normally do. You start getting fed up with a fucking person and, and strangled and my hair, I don't even have any hair. I don't, I, I want to show you this. This is my hair, my hair. If you watch that video, my hair is being like, I don't know if you noticed it, but like, back and forth back like 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 i had to i had to this is my hair like this, i had to cut my hair off because you know but the thing is so that's the hair he ripped out or something what are you saying that's the hair he ripped out your hair i don't know this. this is my Maybe hair it is. my hair if you watch that video my hair is being like i don't know if you noticed it but like back and forth back like 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 i had to i had to this is my hair like there's I had to cut my hair off because, you know, but the thing is, is I could have been alone in that and it could have ended up much worse. Like when I slapped him, I didn't want to kill she him. Obviously. I just want, I just wanted to slap him. I, that's all I wanted to do. I didn't, I just was mad, but I felt when he was like strangling me and when he was pulling my hair and like, like shaking my head so violently, like a rag doll, I felt that he was trying to kill me. And my God, if I was alone, I, I could definitely be dead right now. That's how I feel. Women need to feel safe. And men do too. I'm honestly tired of some of these bitches out here that are abusive, being on fucking men and do all kinds of shit and think that because you're a woman that some of these people are not going to do something back. I don't know the dynamics. The guy's probably a piece of shit too. I don't know the dynamics, but I'm tired of this woman out here thinking they can do all kinds of shit that the, the law applies differently or something to you or, or, or society. That is the number one important thing for women. <laughs> and I, I could say that for all women. We need to feel safe. We need to trust the person. And we I don't feel want safe to too. be that kind of person that has to go through someone's phone to find the truth. We want truth. So God. let me go through your phone. I think I think I just think like with everything that happened, I am so like broken <laughs> by this and I'm so disturbed <laughs> that you know someone like that would come into my life and completely disrupt my life and kind of just like destroy he destroyed my life no you destroyed your life i i've been cheated on before many like a long long time ago and listen it's tough it's tough especially your first time you know what i'm saying it can be really tough people have a hard time processing and digesting and, and whatever and she said you know the guy for two years but i've never put my hands on somebody a woman i mean you know but the times have changed the times have changed and some of these women they will get locked up you will be held responsible there there, there will be repercussions um so now she's saying she's the victim that's her claim now you know, I feel like people on video and on stream, you're probably going to try to be well behaved if you can or whatever. And so if you're doing some wild, wild shit on stream, I can only imagine what you're like in person. And I st I'm still trying to figure out what this woman's relevancy is, I, I guess. I mean, I know she was a former Howard Stern employee, which is big, you know. And she has a, 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 a up and coming YouTube page. Let me check her Instagram. Maybe she has a lot of people on Instagram. 24K on Instagram. 
Mm, look, people, people on Instagram getting at her too. Uh, what does it say? He definitely went too far. Keep your hands to yourself. Simple as that. You're not a victim. That man was. He is a human just like you. You didn't deserve to get your hair pulled like that, and then you're getting arrested as a joke. Hope you make a full recovery. She deserves to go to jail. Blah, blah, blah. So, I don't know. A lot of mixed, I guess, got a lot of mixed uh, feelings from the public. I'm trying to check out what her Twitter is. Her Twitter has 26,000 followers. She, I guess she's from West Palm Beach, Florida. She posted like nothing happened on her uh, page, her Twitter page. <laughs> I don't know. And, you know, I mean, the, the, the front of what we see is very little. What we see on social media, who knows what goes on in the background. The guy didn't deny the cheating or those pictures and videos, and so I, I can understand that being frustrated. I just don't agree with uh, putting your hands on somebody, getting really physical with them. And uh, I don't know why that guy got back in the car. <laughs> you know, I don't know why he got back in the car, but um, best thing he can do to preserve his life and future is, and the same thing for her, just leave. It's that simple. Leave and move on. So, I guess that's that. Um. Oh, the, one one final. Uh, I can't even show the video. I, I I wish I could talk. I wanted to talk about this one thing, but there was this person that was. Uh, I guess the beginning of it. This person. Shooting at this vehicle. Oh vehicle reverses. And then the guy starts accelerating forward. And he ends up hitting the guy. He oh he looks like he hit to me it looks like he hit two people. He hit the guy that was wearing the construction thing. But apparently. It said authorities have intervened. Uh, I'm sorry, have identified a good Samaritan who died on Thursday morning while trying to intervene in a carjacking. He was killed in the incident. Lumberton, pol uh, Lumberton police say Ricky Alex Driggers stole a vehicle, then intentionally hit Lecompte, who was one of the good Samaritans who tried to intervene in the incident. So I, I don't, I, I guess the guy who pulled out the gun maybe was the good Samaritan. I guess. He's trying to stop a carjacking. Guy took off and accelerated and came back and hit him and killed him, I guess. Pretty wild. Wild. My mom's going to be like, oh, that's how my son looks. No, you see SNL of News Nation last night? News Nation? No. Well, there was an SNL episode about News Nation. Saturday Night Live. News Nation. No, I haven't seen it. That's true, uh, Sean. That is true. Oh, tomorrow, Amy says... Bodies of missing Kansas moms found. Press conference 10 a.m. Central. So that'll be uh, 11 a.m. I make a note of that. Tomorrow's going to be a busy day. 
Maybe we can talk about that story, I guess, then tomorrow. Cover the press conference. Any copy? Uh, all right. Thank you for that information. We'll do that tomorrow. Press conference. All right. I'm going to head out for now, guys. If there's a chase or something, I'll come back. If not, I'm just going to relax and chill. Oh, please subscribe to this channel. I'm almost at 20,000, which is cool. Where are we at? Oh, yeah, I'm looking at the second page. We're about 300 and something away from 20,000. That'd be really cool. So if you could subscribe, I'd appreciate that. All right. Take care, guys. Peace. Ooh, Karen Reed. Yeah, that's going to be crazy. The trial? Oh, yeah.